If you have got an email like this, then it means now you have access to GPT-4 API. But it's not going to be available to everyone. As mentioned on their website, it's only going to be available to all developers with a history of successful payment. So if you have paid account and you already had a successful payment history, you are going to have access to GPT-4 API now. And under GPT-4 also, there are different models and same thing they have mentioned over here. Like GPT-4 is currently accessible to those who have made at least one successful payment through our developer platform. So if you are using a free account and calling all these API, then this GPT-4 API is not going to be available to you. You need to have a paid account and you must have had at least one successful payment. So under GPT-4, there are different uh, models. GPT-4, then 0613, 32K and 32K0613. But as of now, the access is available to only GPT-4 with 8K context. So when they say 8K context, it's like we can take around 8,000 tokens and process it. And how can you check whether you have a paid account or not? So you can just go to open AI platform and then you have to click on manage account. And once you click on the manage account, you will come over here and under billing section, you can go to overview and you should be able to see something like this. If you are getting canceled paid account, it means you have already enabled a paid account and you must be using all those APIs. You must have had some successful payment in the past. If you are not seeing this option, then it means you are still using a free account and you won't be having access to GPT-4 API. So I have written a simple quote and in this one, I'm just going to compare result what I was getting earlier uh, using GPT-3.5 Turbo and what I'm getting now using GPT-4 model. This is a simple quote that I have written using Llama Index Framework. First, I will try to pass an input file and try to run the code using GPT-3.5 Turbo model and I will see the response. I did ask what did author do growing up and I have got a response like this now same thing i will try to run it with gpt4 so i have passed gpt4 model now with the same question and with the same input and i will try to compare the result what we have got from gpt4 with gpt 0.5 turbo okay so you can see the difference it's more on the similar context but if you see the wording it has been changed considering gpt4 is more advanced model so i would go with what i'm getting with gpt4 so when i say wording here it's written like they started programming on ibm here it's still written he started programming then you can see later got a microcomputer in TRS in 1980. But here you can see using an early version of Fortran. He got a TRS-80 computer and wrote simple program. But on top of that, we have got some other updates also from OpenAI. They have already introduced a chat completion API in March and it now accounts for 97 API GPT usage. Considering this, they are going to move from this test completion API to chat completion API. So this is one of the point. Another point what they have highlighted, deprecation of older models in the completion APIs. Earlier, we had all this model, Ada, Babbage and all these things. They are going to move to their advanced version. So Ada is going to move to 002 and DaVinci is also going to move to 002. All these models are going to move to GPT 3.5 Turbo Instruct. So and the timeline for this migration is going to be Jan 4, 2024. After Jan 4, 2024, all this older completion model is not going to be available and will be replaced with all these new models. Same thing is going to happen with embedding models also. All these embedding models, what we had earlier, it's going to move to this text embedding ADA 002. And the reason they have given because this text embedding ADA 002 model accounts for 99.9 .9 of all embedding API usage. So even though all these models were there, but this text embedding ADA002 was mostly used so it doesn't make sense to have all these models running up so that's why they have decided to decommission all these models as well and the timeline for this is going to be again Jan 4 2024. Yes yeah, so these were the main highlights and I hope you will find this video useful. Thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe.